Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our solution. Today we will be demonstrating the Accelerator for Healthcare Patient 360 use case. More specifically, we will be highlighting our assets that can be used to accelerate the processing of HL7 v2 messages into Salesforce's Health Cloud to power an organization's CRM or patient engagement initiatives. Without further ado, let's begin. The importance of having an approach to surface HL7 v2 data to power healthcare organizations' digital transformation can't be understated. According to a survey run by Deloitte in 2021, 92% of healthcare executives stated that one of the top outcomes they are hoping to achieve is better patient satisfaction and engagement. They are investing in initiatives that allow them to better know and serve their patients. According to the HL7 organization, 95% of U.S. healthcare organizations are using HL7 v2 to exchange clinical information. While there's a lot of hype and excitement around FHIR, HL7 v2 remains the workhorse for exchanging clinical information in healthcare systems today. Based on these metrics and demand from our customers, our team decided to further invest in our capabilities to process HL7 v2 messages and bring that data into Salesforce Health Cloud to enable it to transform the way healthcare organizations engage their patients. Let's meet the characters in our story today. Xander is our patient. He is 28 years old and has not had any serious health conditions in the past. Over the last couple of weeks, he has been experiencing severe headaches and isn't sure of the cause. Philip works for Mythical Healthcare's IT department as the organization's lead MuleSoft architect. He is responsible for developing the integrations that power various patient, practitioner, and employee applications. And last but not least, Maxine. Maxine is our contact center agent. She works in Salesforce Health Cloud to address patient inquiries and provide Mythical's patients excellent care. Philip is given a requirement from his leadership to build a new group of integrations taking HL7 v2 feeds from Mythical's EHR platform and ensure this information is available in Salesforce Health Cloud. Before Philip gets started on designing the architecture for this use case, he heads to Anypoint Exchange to see if MuleSoft provides anything for him to use to speed up his development. Let's now head to Exchange ourselves to see what is available. First, Philip navigates to Anypoint Exchange, MuleSoft's marketplace for ready-to-use assets. He sees the accelerator for healthcare and clicks the tile. That brings him to the home page, and after quickly reviewing the overview diagram, he scrolls down to the use case descriptions when he notices the patient 360 use case, which aligns directly with the requirements he's received to ingest HL7 v2 messages into Salesforce Health Cloud. He decides to click the link, which brings him to the use case page. He takes a moment to look at the functional view, which validates his understanding of the use case's capabilities. He scrolls past the glossary of terms and then sees a high-level architecture of the use case, which includes both fire-based and HL7 v2 based capabilities. He spent some time familiarizing himself with the v2 diagram which shows customers have two options when it comes to how they can deploy the solution. Scrolling further, he sees a workflow description as well as a sequence diagram, which highlights the sequence of calls between systems. He gets to the downloadable assets, which include API specifications, implementation templates, and even a lightning web component to visualize data in Salesforce. He's now ready to open one of the assets themselves and decides to start with the ADT listener implementation template. He begins by opening the setup instructions, which include helpful details on getting started with the solution, including importing the templates into AnyPoint Studio and configuring some of the key connectors, including the Salesforce connector. He then opens the developer guide and sees the different reusable data weave modules to map to various fire objects. Next, he clicks the sample test data tab and sees the solution provides some test data he and his team can use as they complete their development testing. And last, he opens one of the segment mappings and reviews the pre-built mappings provided as part of the accelerator template. 
He returns to the template homepage and is now ready to download, configure, and deploy this asset as well as the other applications as part of this use case. Now that his environment is up and running, let's return to our story and see how Mythical is equipped to process the various HL7 v2 messages associated with Xander's visit to Myth Mythical Healthcare. To begin Xander's episode of care, he decides to go to Mythical to see if he can get to the bottom of why he's experiencing these constant headaches. After the doctor hears more about Xander's headaches, he decides to admit him for further observation and diagnostic tests. He's assigned to a comfortable room in the Oak Building, and the nurses kindly help him settle in. Now at this point, an ADT A01 event is triggered by Mythical Healthcare's EHR, and MuleSoft takes the information from the message maps it, and stores it into Salesforce Health Cloud. Now let's navigate to Salesforce and open the Accounts tab to see the account that is created for Xander based on the processing of this first HL7v2 event. As you can see, a ton of relevant information is now available for Mythical's contact center agents to better support Xander moving forward. We'll now open the clinical data tab and open the clinical encounter associated with Xander's admittance to the hospital. In the clinical encounter object, MuleSoft stores the facility where Xander is staying, as well as the start time of the encounter itself. Later that evening, Xander is transferred from the Oak Building to the Elm Building and prepares for his first night in the hospital. When Xander is transferred to a different part of the facility, Mythical's EHR generates an ADT A02 event, which is processed by the MuleSoft application and updates his location within the clinical encounter in Salesforce. Returning back to Salesforce, when we refresh the page, you'll now notice that the, the, the previous facility is updated to Oak and its current facility is now reflected as the Elm building. The next day, Xander's doctor recommends he undergo various tests, including a comprehensive blood panel and a CT scan to help diagnose the cause of his headaches. Once the preliminary results are received, an ORU R01 event is generated, which captures the observations recorded during the processing of the tests. What we will show next is MuleSoft processing the ORU message and creating additional observations on Xander's account. We return to the clinical data tab and refresh the page. And now you're able to see in addition to the original observations, we have two additional observations from his preliminary test results. Next, Xander decides to schedule a follow-up appointment in a few weeks once the remainder of his test results are ready and discuss his options for treatment if needed. Once the appointment is scheduled, an SIU S12 event is sent from Mythical's EHR, which MuleSoft will take and use to create a service appointment in HealthCloud. And with that, we're able to see a new service appointment has been created for July 12th at 2 p.m. for Xander's follow-up appointment. At this point in Xander's care journey, he and his doctor agree he's ready to leave the hospital and return home. When Xander is discharged, Mythical's EHR sends a final event for this episode of CARE, an ADT A03, to let the other applications know that this patient has left the facility. As we return to HealthCloud, we return to the Clinical Data tab and see the clinical encounter has changed status to finished as well as updated the end date and time to close out the clinical encounter. A few weeks later, Xander receives a call from his doctor sharing the good news of his results, which confirmed the initial assessment that the headaches were likely stress-related and that with proper self-care and lifestyle adjustments, Xander's headaches should subside. So with that, Xander cancels his follow-up appointment and an SIU S15 event is sent to HealthCloud to update the status of the appointment from booked to canceled. So as we open HealthCloud and refresh, 
You now are able to see the service appointment has been updated to be canceled. That concludes our demonstration. And now to close out, we'll briefly mention how you can get started with this solution yourself. Head to any point exchange to access the assets and documentation highlighted during today's demonstration. And second, ask questions, share feedback on your experiences, or let us know what you were able to accomplish by emailing solutions-questions at mulesoft.com. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video.